Hi, Coffee Beans! How's it brewing? Today is our final Monday in the month of February, which means it's our last Valentine's Day craft. I saw this cute little birdhouse at Walmart, and I just had to get it. I thought this would be super cute in my craft room. Plus, it has little wind chimes, and I love wind chimes. The first thing I thought of when I saw this was a love bird nest. But after talking to my husband, he had the best idea of what to turn this into. We're gonna make the love shack, baby love shack, where we can get together. Ooh, that was rough. <laughs> there was some karaoke for you guys. If you've never heard of the love shack, which I'm sure you have, also go ahead and put a link to the amazing music video down below so you can kind of tell what I'm referencing. I'm gonna be using some really simple acrylic paint for this craft today, as well as some colored pencils and Mod Podge to finish it up. I don't wanna get paint on the white string, so I'm going to tape around it to protect it. I didn't notice this ink on the back of the house. It's not a sticker, oh. What? Compliant for formaldehyde? Okay, good to know. Anyway, I'm going to sand this ink off before I paint. Okay, I'm gonna need a coarser sandpaper. This isn't doing the trick like I thought it would. Alright, now I'm just going to wet down a paper towel and wipe off the dust particles. Might as well wipe down the rest of the birdhouse too. I want to paint the roof first. The love shack in the music video has a black and white checkered roof, so that's what I'll do here. I'm going to draw some lines for guides. Let's see, I'm going to make them about a centimeter apart. <laughs> They're a little crooked, but that's okay. The wavy roof edges kind of mask it, so oh well. Because this thing's moving around, I'm going to paint this side, let it dry, and then paint the other side. And I'm doing three coats of each color in total, just so you know. Now the other side. I'm going to line the front and the back of the roof in yellow so we can have some color. I didn't cover the front of these roof pieces very well so I'm going to go in and touch it up with a small brush.
the love shack also has a weird like sun fixture above the front door so I'm gonna put that here There are some stairs in front of the Love Shack too that are, I think, like blue and green checkered with some white wavy lines. In front, there's this big red orangish door that kind of looks like Aztecan. So I'm gonna just paint a red door with some orange shapes. I need to shade the stairs a little. In the music video, as they're driving up to the Love Shack, there's this big blue sign that says Shack d'Amour. And I am not even going to attempt to say that in a French accent. There is no way. I'm going to put the sign on this side, but I don't trust myself to do the letters with paint, so I'm just going to use Sharpies. <laughs> And I think this sign needs some shading and highlights and like maybe a wood texture. I wasn't totally sure what I wanted to do with the remaining sides, but in the video when they're driving up, it keeps showing these really big sunflowers. So I'm going to attempt, and attempt is the keyword, to paint some sunflowers on here. I am 100% not an artist, so good luck to me. Right now I'm just adding some shading to the leaves and stems with a watercolor pencil. I'm not pushing hard because the paint's not completely dry. And I can't forget the sunflower seeds. I'm doing those with Sharpie. Oh my gosh! Yes, I love them! My sunflowers turned out so good! I can't believe I actually did it! The bottom looks pretty bare though, so I think I'm going to paint some grass down here. And I might as well do the base. Guys, I love it! I'm going to take the tape off really quick, and then I think we're all done. But wait, there's more! You can't have a Love Shack birdhouse without some burbs! So I'm going to make two adorable pom-pom burbs. These are super easy to make with yarn, pipe cleaners, googly eyes, and some felt for the beak if you have it. You could always use colored paper too. Cut off a longish piece of yarn, maybe like six to eight inches, and stick it between your fingers like this. Then start wrapping the yarn around your fingers like this. I saw this weird tutorial that said to wrap approximately 200 times, but no, you don't need to do that. Just wrap it until it's nice and bulky. Then grab the two ends of the long piece of yarn between your fingers and just tie it into a tight knot and then you can slide the yarn off your hands. Take a pipe cleaner and wrap it around the middle of your yarn, on top of the yarn you just tied. These are the legs and the feet. You can cut off the excess or just leave them long to look kind of funny. Then take some scissors and carefully cut the yarn loops so that they're all separated, but careful not to cut yourself. And you have a pom-pom! Easy as that! Go ahead and trim it down to the size you want. I'm going to go pretty small. Go ahead and form them into feet now if you want. Now, with some fabric glue or hot glue, but if you're using hot glue, be careful you don't burn yourself. Glue on your beak and your googly eyes. And you're all done! Make as many burbs as you want. I'm going to make two little lovebirds. Look at my adorable little love burbs with their awesome love shack! 
It's so stinking cute! I hope you guys had fun watching all of my Valentine's themed crafts this month. I had a real blast planning them and making them. Which one was your favorite? Comment below or use hashtag bunny DIY on Instagram with your creations and I'll give you a shout out in my next video. This week's shout outs go to Nezreen A and Samantha Newell. Thank you everyone for your ongoing support. Make sure you click the like button and don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss any future videos. I'll see you guys next Monday. Thanks everyone. Love you a latte.